Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about how you can play a song by the Grateful Dead called Ripple. And it starts with a really cool intro part, actually, that's kind of around the lead guitar, kind of working the vocal melody. And it starts second fret on the A string, and then we play that again, and then third fret on the A, and then open D, and then open B, and then another open B, and then two on the, on the G, and then open B, and then open G, and then first fret on the B, and then we go second on the D, and then open G, and then first fret on the B. And then we do a hammer on all the D string from kind of open to second fret. So I'm kind of playing the open D and kind of put my finger down to get the sound to carry. And then going open G, and then two on the D, open G, and then two on the G, open G, and then two on the D. And then we go open to second hammer on the G string. So I'm kind of playing the open string, kind of getting my finger to kind of carry the sound. And then open G, and then open D to the second fret on the D hammer on, and then open D. And then we kind of start that over again. Two, two, three, oh, 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 two, oh, oh, one, two, oh, one. And then at the end, we play open B twice. And then we go first fret on the B, and then open G. Oh, two, oh, we play open B twice. And then first fret on the B, and then second fret on the G. And then we do an open to second hammer on the D, and then open G twice, and then two on the G, and then open G. So all together, the notes you're actually kind of playing is you're going B, B, C, D, B, B, A, B, G, C, E, G, C, D, E, G, E, G, A, G, E, G, A, G, D, E, D. G, C, E, G, C, B, B, C, A, D, E, G, G, A, G. But the chords that kind of support that melody actually start on a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major on our intro, we're going to be going to a C major chord. The way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then we stay on the C major for, chord for quite a while, and then we go back to the G major chord, and then we do some more G, and then we go to C major, and then we do another C major. Then we go back to G major, but then we go to a D major chord. And when we play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E on the second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds a D major chord. And then from the D major, it sounds really happy. We're going to go to C major, and then we go back to G major, and then we kind of do another G major. So it kind of starts with what becomes the second half of our verse. So if we tried that all the way through, we have G. C C C C C G G G C C G D C G G. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the G and just tried that a lot. We'd have down, down, up, up, up down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you want to do that a lot to get your right hand used to it. And then if we try that through our chord progression, we got G, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, C, down. basically going to be repeating that now with kind of with some variations through our verse 
until we get to our chorus, and on our chorus we start on an A minor chord, and the way you play A minor, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string on the second fret, and third finger on the G string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor on, on our chorus, we're going to be going to the D major chord, and then we do another D major, and then we go to G major, and then we go to C major, but then we go to an A major chord, so it changes from from, happy, from sad to happy. And the way we play A major, we go first finger on the D on the second, second finger on the G on the second, third finger on the B string on the second. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then we kind of end our chorus by going back to the D major chord. So we tried that with our strum pattern. We have A minor, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, D. repeating those through, through the rest of the song. One other thing I would think about adding though to, to the, the strum pattern is bass notes. And a lot of times on that very first down of the strum pattern, you can add in a bass note for the chord. So on the G, you can do the low E for the bass, and then your down, up, up, down, up. So G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down, G with low E bass, down, up, up, down. And when you get to the C chord, you have an A string for your bass. So C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, down, up, up, down, C with an A bass. You have the A string for your bass. A bass down, up, up, down. You run with an A bass down, up, up, down. And it's actually that same bass for the A major. So A major with an A bass down, up, up, down. A major with an A bass down, up, up, down. So we tried that next verse kind of, kind of with our basses. We have G with low E bass down, up, up, down. G with low E bass down, up, up, down. C with an A bass down, up. something called country feel and a lot of times what a country bass player does is they play what's called the root of the chord which is the name of the chord so on the G note or the G chord the G note is the root and so if you played the low E string for your root note and kind of did a down up and then if you counted up five notes on your fingers G A B C D a D note is kind of the fifth of a G chord so if you did a low E string for your bass for the root and then a down up and it kind of did the D string for your fifth and then another down up that would kind of be country feel so you have G with a low E bass, down, up, D with D bass, down, up, G with low E bass, down, up, D with D bass, down, or G with low E, or D bass, G with a bass, down, up, fifth, down, up, root, down, up, fifth, down, up, root, down, up, fifth, down, up. Now the weird part about the C chord though is the, is the fifth of a C chord is a G note, so you have an A string for your bass, but then what you can do is take the third finger and move it to the low E third fret for your G note. And then when you get to your D chord, your D string is your root and your A string is your fifth. So 
the D chord, you got D root, A string for the fifth, D for the root, A for the fifth, D for the root, A for the fifth. And then on the A minor chord, your A string is your root, but your low E string would be your fifth. So A root. that through our verse part we'd have G with low E bass, D, G with low E bass, and D with string bass, and then C with an A bass, down a third on low E, C with an A root, down a fifth, down a C with a root, down a fifth, down a C with a root, down a fifth, down a C with a root, down a fifth, down G with low E bass, down a B, G with a root, down a fifth, down G with low E root, down a fifth, down C with an A root, low E fifth. So that might be something else you want to kind of try. And if we try that through our chorus, we'd have A minor with an A bass, E bass, A minor with an A bass, E bass, D with a D bass, A bass, D with a D bass, A bass, G with low E bass, D bass, C with an A bass, but then we move to third for the low E and then A with an A bass, low E bass, and then D with a D bass, A bass. Might be kind of cool to kind of add that in and there are also some really cool bass walks that you could kind of work to get from one chord to another so for instance on the G chord to get from G to C you could do the low E for your root and then do your down up and then play open A and then second fret on the A to kind of lead into the C chord so you have G with low E bass down up open A second fret on the A and then that would lead you into your C chord for your root fifth and then actually you, you could kind of use those same notes to get back so when it's time to go back from the C to the G, you can do the C with the root, down, up, and then do second on the A, and then open A to kind of lead you back to the G chord. So it's kind of using an A note and a B note to kind of lead from the G to the C. And then on the D chord, I think it would be cool, kind of cool to throw in a little bass lick where, where you could kind of do your walk from the G to the D, actually. You'd have low E for the root, and then go second fret on the A, and then third fret on the A to kind of lead into the D chord. Right, so you have G with low E root, down to B, C to lead into D. Alright, but on the D chord, it might be kind of cool to throw in a little lick where you'd have open D and then a down up, and then play open D and then a really quick hammer on the second fret on the D string. So you have D with open D, down up O, O2 hammer on, or you can even do it as a hammer on pull off, actually I like that better. So you have D with O D root, down up, open D, O2 O is kind of a hammer on pull, so I'm kind of playing D my finger down to carry the sound, pulling it off to the open D. So, so if we tried that through your verse, you have G with low. So if we tried that through our verse, we have G with low E bass, D bass, and G with low E bass, down a O two to the C chord, another C with the root, down a fifth, down a C with the root, down a fifth, down a C with the root, down a fifth, down a C with the root, down up two on the A, open A, G on the low E root. of a cool thing to kind of try and how to work those lead-ins through it. That's the basics of how you could play Ripple by the Grateful Dead. So good luck!